Stevie Nicks has released her first original single in four years, The Lighthouse, which she says she has been working on since the rights guaranteed by Roe v. Wade were overturned by the Supreme Court in 2022. The fresh track was produced by the trio of Nix, Cheryl Crow, and Dave Cobb. That a I and A statement about the new release, the ex Fleetwood Mac singer indicated just how important the theme is for her. I have often said to myself, this may be the most important thing I ever do, to stand up for the women of the United States and their daughters and granddaughters, and the men that love them, Nix said. This is an anthem. Nix will be performing the song as the featured musical guest on Saturday Night Live. October 12th, a week that finds Ariana Grande hosting. This will mark her first SNL appearance since December 1983, when she was promoting her second solo album that I in the new song, she sings from both outrage and hope. All the rights that you had yesterday are taken away slash and now you're afraid slash you should be afraid, she sings. Because everything I fought for long ago in a dream is gone. But, she adds later, don't let it happen again slash I have my scars, you have yours slash don't let them take your power slash don't leave it alone in the final hours. I wrote this song a few months after Roe vs. Wade was overturned, she explained in her statement. It seemed like overnight people were saying, what can we, as a collective force, do about this? For me, it was to write a song. It took a while because I was on the road. Then, early one morning I was watching the news on TV and a certain newscaster said something that felt like she was talking to me, explaining what the loss of Roe v. Wade would come to mean. I wrote the song the next morning and recorded it that night. That was September 6, 2022. I have been working on it ever since. Nix co-wrote the song with Magnus Bergerson and Vincent Villuis. Crow, who produced Nick's Practical Magic tracks in the late 90s, plays electric guitar and bass on the recording as well as co-producing, with Cobb also contributing guitar. Nick's longtime guitar player through her entire solo career, Wadi Wachtel, is on the track as well, with Philip Town on keys and Laurie Nix joining Crow on background vocals that Nick's last originally penned release in 2020, another socially conscious non-album track, completed with then-presidential candidates Joe Biden and Kamala Harris in mind, was Show Them the Way. In the intervening period, Nix also released her version of For What It's Worth. Earlier this month, on September 11th, Nix put a statement on social media encouraging fans to register to vote. She said she was echoing her friend Taylor Swift's words, although she did not go as far as Swift in endorsing a presidential candidate. As my friend Taylor Swift so eloquently stated, now is the time to research and choose the candidate that speaks to you and your beliefs. Your vote in this election may be one of the most important things you ever do, Nix noted, including a link to vote.gov. However, she may have sent a strong signal of which ticket she favors when she signed the missive, Love, Stevie Nix, Childless Dog Lady.